Greetings, shall we observe the sun? NOAA forecasters say that minor G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible on April 27, when a CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. It was hurled into space on April 24 by an explosion in the Sun's southern hemisphere. Most of the CME will sail south of Earth, but its northern flank will probably touch our planet. On this LASCOC2 filter, the latest CME that occurred today can be observed. It erupts from the northeastern limb of the Sun which this direction is to the left of Earth so this will not directly affect Earth. Here is the same eruption, following in the same direction of an eruption that occurred on the 25th. This HMI intensity gram map shows five sunspots on the Earth-facing side of the Sun today. Sunspots 3285, 87 and 88 are directly facing Earth, but no solar flares have occurred today from them. Here they can be seen on the SDO-1700 filter. On this coronal hole map, three groups of coronal hole on the Sun are Earth-facing. The open magnetic field of a coronal hole allows solar wind to escape into space at a much quicker rate, and affects Earth's magnetosphere. The solar wind speed is currently moderately high at 517.1 km per second. And for the lunar observers, the Moon is in the waxing crescent phase. Illumination, 37%. For the lycanthrope, among you, it's about nine days till the next. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.